Hi, folks. This is the Basel Chapman. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 143 at 31,905. It's a little unusual to see that early uh, climb to the upside on Fed Speak Day from about now 11 o'clock going into like 1.30, you start to see diminishing in price as the market gets nervous about what the Fed's going to say. The market seems to think that the Fed's going to do the 0.75 and then they're going to talk about the next week and then it's going to be quite straightforward. And actually, Powell quite often is straightforward. So all we can say is Dow's acting really well. If by the end of the day can hold the gains and these be up 100 points or more, that's really good action. Uh, certainly, if it's up uh, at 31,907, if it goes to the 32,000s, that's great. I, know, I personally don't want to see uh, a break below the low of the day of 31,855. Uh, no, maybe that's okay. 31,800 is key support that it needs to hold by the end of the day. Looking at the S&P, let's go to the S&P. Uh, there it is. S&P is trading right now up 53 at 39.74. That's really good action con considering what's going on. But great action would be if it can get to the 4,005 4, area by Friday instead of breaking under 39.20. Meantime, back at the ranch, what we're looking at is the QQQ. So the S&P is up 1.4%. The R's up 0.52%. Uh, but the Qs are up 2.74% at 302.45. Really good action, but it needs to start leg D and get into the 310 area by Friday. That's a lot of points. It's another eight points. Anyway, it's acting well right now. Hopefully it doesn't give back half of this by the end of the day. Because uh, that'll be action. That'll be poor action. We'll see what happens there. IWM is acting well as well. It's also up uh, nicely. It's up two at 181. Gold. So what does gold do at the end of the day? Right now it's down two. It's just been stuck in a tiny little range over the last four days or so. If gold spikes very sharply high, that's going to be impressive because if if it can break above seven 1758 in the next couple of days, that means finally it's turned the corner. It can have a decent rally. But if it's stuck here and it hits seven twenty. 1720, not good. The dollar is really part of the key. It's always part of the key. Acting now, it's up 10 cents at 107.31, holding the trend line support level. So far, that's good. Let's see what happens to the dollar by the end of the day. And the TLT, that's really important. The TLT is down 59, up 59 ticks at 118.07. Oh, I never got a chance to talk about it. I'll be doing that in the coming hour because Larry Pesavento is ill. He's not, uh, he's not doing his show today. I'll be doing the show. I'll be doing at least the hour. I'll be doing the bonds. I'll be doing the currencies. I'll be doing the, uh, uh, the grains. And I'll be doing the oils. So I'll be back in a moment. Safe.